part of the trailer that the boat actually rests on needed some love too. We were going to replace the carpeting and just take a look at the bunks. Of course, our resident turtle snacks was going to help. First, we got to work removing the old ones, and we also bought some indoor outdoor carpeting to recover them. Once I got the bunks out of the brackets, I had to remove the old carpeting. It was fastened down with about a thousand staples, so it was kind of slow going, but I was able to get all the carpeting out in pieces, and then I used a pair of side snips to pull out all the remaining staples that had broken off. It was all going to be recovered with new carpeting anyway, and it's probably overkill, but that's just how I am. Once I got all the staples out, I took a belt sander to each of the bunks and sanded them down and just checked the condition of them to make sure they were okay. I figured the biggest enemy to these bunks was going to be exposure to salt water. So while I had them sanded down some, I coated everything with a good coat of spari urethane varnish. I had a couple of open cans in the garage, so I just used up everything I had, making sure that I got the ends as well. I figured at very least it would keep everything resistant to the water. Closer inspection showed that one of the bunks was too far gone to be saved, so I had to replace it. The local big box stores didn't carry lumber large enough, so I went to a local lumber mill and had them mill my own tree. I duplicated the lengths and the profile and started to cut. Once the spar varnish was dried, it was time to lay out the carpet, cut it, and begin to fasten it to the bunks that I had just sanded and varnished. When I was laying out the carpet, I was sure to leave enough excess that it could be wrapped around and fastened underneath of the bunk. I also made sure that I used galvanized staples so they would not rust. Once everything was covered, I put it back in place in the brackets and I made sure that everything was lined up and put in the same position that it was when I took it off. It might be adjusted later for the boat, but for now I'm just putting them back how they were. 
Once I got the inner bunks installed back into the brackets, I lined them up basically where they used to be and then fastened them into place. Originally they used galvanized hardware, but it had rusted out in some places where it was exposed to water. So I replaced it with grade 8 hardware. I guess time will tell to see if it lasts longer than the galvanized. I repeated the process for the rest of the bunks and tightened everything up. 